All right, here are division properties that we need to know and we will use. Now I'm going to show them to you in a very formal way and then we'll talk about some examples here. If you have any number divided by itself, what do you get? Take a number and divide it by itself. What do you get? Same number. You get the same number. So you're saying that 5 divided by 5 is 5? No. So what's 5 divided by 5? No. What's 17 divided by 17? 1. Ah, so we should just get 1, right? But I have to make a little provision here. This is provided that the number that you're dividing by isn't 0. 0 gives us issues when it's in certain places. Okay. What about a number divided by 1? Now you get that same number, right? So 5 divided by 1 would, you, would be just 5, right? Even if it's 0, 0 divided by 1, 0. All right. What about 0 divided by any number? What is that? Zero. That's 0, but again, we have to make the provision that we are not dividing by zero because as you guys have already figured out division by zero is what? Impossible. Not, no es posible we would call this guy undefined right? please make sure you spell undefined correctly this is F-I-N-E-D not F-I-N-D So if I give you a question like that, you'll say, oh, well, this is undefined. And let's see some examples of these guys in action. If I have 19 divided by 0, what do you say? You would actually write undefined. Okay. What if I were to say 85 divided by 85. You get 1. A number divided by itself is 1. How many times does 85 go into 85? One time. See? You got it. What if I were to say negative 54 divided by 1? Yes. Oh, this symbol up here means does not equal. Anytime you see a symbol like that, but you've got a little slash through it that means does not, whatever, in this case it's equal. When we had the inequalities, if you saw something like this, that's less than. If I did that, that would mean it's not less than. Okay, so what about negative 54 divided by 1? Any number divided by 1 is just that same number that you started with, negative 54. And what about 0 divided by 44? Hmm. Now, your answer will be undefined when you are dividing by 0. When your divisor is 0, you're undefined. But 0 is not my divisor. What I'm dividing by is 44. So this answer here is just 0. Yep, you can rewrite this another way if you like looking at it more in a fraction format, you could say that this guy is 0 over 44. So you can clearly say, oh, okay, I'm dividing by 44. So my answer is you know, still 0. So I don't know what way works better for some. Some people like to write it where you have division going across like this. Some people prefer it more in this fraction format. And I think by the end of the semester, you'll prefer it in this format because we'll do so much with fractions. And I know you guys may not like fractions, so you may want to go ahead and drop the class. But we'll get to fractions. We will never, we will never leave fractions. Fractions will become our friends. I'm sorry, Cheryl. It may be the friends that you just have to put up with, but they're still your friends. You don't like those friends? 
They're the ones that you choose not to invite to the party. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to invite. I didn't invite you. Are you sure? Did you check your Evi? I'm pretty sure I put you on there. Hater. <laughs>